Hey yo, niaje niaje. The attention police that it again in Uganda we never sleep. I'm telling you. So we just got done with the Nicole saga. Now we are into something else. This is now about Nelson and Anita. What is happening to the violence that is happening? Just a few days ago, we had a lady assault a fellow lady. Now we have a man assault a lady over a pay that she's supposed to get. This is so concerning. Things are happening at a very fast rate. Violence is increasing. What are we doing about it? What exactly are we doing about it? Is it that we are lacking a bit of uh, knowledge? Is it that we are not getting the information so well? Apparently, we have this lady called Anita. So she gets uh, a deal for the radio station. That's Kanungu FM. That's Kanungu FM. Uh, owned by Honorable Barrio Munsi Chris, the Minister of ICT. Uh, uh, the lady now gets for her job or her workplace. Uh, that, that's a job for them to do. So when she gets this deal for the company, then the station is supposed to pay her percentage. From what the reports say, she's supposed to actually get uh, 40,000 shillings from the 200,000. So basically, I'm guessing the commission should be like 20% for whatever work you bring to the station. So apparently, after getting the work for this radio station, she's supposed to get her commission. So she goes to the manager, that's uh, Nelson. Now, reaching there, apparently the guy doesn't want to pay her the money. So I think they kind of had a sort of argument and what. Then what happens is that... Uh, Nelson decides to punch her, according to what she had reported to the police when she took this story up. So Nelson punches her. So when she gets punched, and then there's the struggle as well, then the workers come in, and then that's when we see the video that was actually released, where Nelson, Nelson is, standing, is standing up and she's lying down, there's blood on the floor. What is happening exactly? Why are we having all these violence cases, one after another coming in? What is really happening? And the people doing this, are they not learning? Did they learn from what just happened? Now, apparently, this guy has been arrested after the lady filed the case. And police are looking into, into it. I think he's going to be taken to court very soon. Uh, let's take a look at the video. <laughs> That's blood on the floor. That's blood on the floor. Actually, the lady claimed, uh, the lady actually said uh, when she reported the case, she said the guy had punched her on the nose and then she started bleeding. Then after that, the guy started dragging her. That's Nelson. And then the lady is Anita. So let's look at it again. So this lady, you can see her on the floor. Like a lot, a lot is happening, and this is just because of a small saga, just because of forty thousand shillings. Do you deserve to go to jail because of forty thousand? Because you failed to pay someone the commission? Because you decide to beat them up? We actually need to move from this, guys. We need to move away from this. If you can hear the guys from the background, they keep on calling the manager. The manager, that's the manager, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Nelson. So they keep on calling the manager, trying to stop him from continuing to harm the lady. But also, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed with the guys because, yes, they are talking from the background, but no one is jumping into action to try and protect the lady. So that is kind of... Uh, uh, uh lame on their side so also on this post let's look at uh, what uh, scovius actually says so hello high city minister uh, that is uh, mr barrio munsi chris the current minister of ict i hope by now you've taken action against your employee nelson who beat his junior over twelve thousand. That was that the fee was actually forty thousand and assault 
assault at workplace have no place in modern society. We are looking forward to seeing justice served. So that was a concern from Scovia. She has actually been following the story a lot. Uh, uh, Barrio Munsi Chris, Honorable Barrio Munsi Chris is actually the owner of uh, Kanungu FM, according to reports that are out there. We also have, uh, he calls himself, the name is Love256. Finally, this beast, Nelson, the manager Kanungu FM radio station, is in cells for assaulting a female journalist who went, who was went, <laughs> who went to demand for her 40,000 commission. Soon you will be produced in court. Thank you, Uganda police. Thank you too for showing concern. From Sarah, Sarah also says the suspect was summoned and appeared today morning in court. His statement was recorded. He is currently detained pending court. Chigezi Regional Pro, L.I. Mate says the case file has been completed and forwarded to RSA with a charge sheet for further management. Scovia once again. The manager of 91.5 Kanungu FM has been arrested. This was actually when the news came of his arrest. Um, uh, Nelson is under detention at Kanungu Police Station. Eli, Eli Mate, the Chigezi region police spot confirms. She continues, I've taken, I've talked to Anita, a news anchor and presenter at 91.5 Kanungu FM who was assaulted by her station manager in the video. Anita asked for her commission of 40,000 but was assaulted, was suspended from work. She reported to police on the 27th. Let's follow up a bit of the detail in regards to the case that was going on. So Kanungu radio station. Aha. Uh -huh. Nelson Kagote, the manager Kanungu FM, who was filmed assaulting a female presenter, Anita, was fi was has finally been arrested. He is said to have assaulted at the radio premises on 26th of January 2023. He was picked up on Wednesday following a case assault filed by Anita at Kanungu Central Police Station. In her statement, Anita claims Nelson assaulted her when she demanded her commission on an advert for a school she brought for the radio station. So she had gotten for them commission. So she got for them work. So basically I think they have a policy. When you get for them work, there's a commission you're supposed to get. I think that should be like 20% of 200,000, which is 40,000. According to Anita, she secured the school advert on January 26th worth 200,000 shillings that was paid in cash and was entitled to a commission of 40,000 Ugandan shillings uh, in line with the station guidelines. That's why I'm saying around 20%. She, however, said that after recording the business, Nelson declined to release her commission. Anita explained that when she tried to inquire from Nelson about her commission, he slapped her on the face and she started to bleed from the nose. She said Nelson continued to drag her on the ground as he continued beating her. Eli Mate, the Chigaze region police spokesperson, says the suspect will appear before court to answer the charges accordingly. The case is registered at Kanungu Police Station under file number. So for those ones who want to follow it up, you're welcome. Let's learn these things. Let's not have to go to jail. Let's not have to be reported because of small cases. If the guy had paid the lady what she deserves, then all this would not be happening uh, to him right now. He wouldn't be arrested. He would still be having his job. I want to, con to congratulate if indeed uh, the station belongs to uh, Honorable Bureau Monsi Chris. I, I thank him because there were reports that uh, he had fired the guy. The guy lost his job because of that. That means uh, that's a positive feedback because it shows you don't condone any sort of violence. But at the same time, uh, in every all these things that do happen in our society, we need to be very critical because I suppose this guy has a wife, he has kids, if he does, then if the law takes action on him, then it means his family is going to suffer in the process. So just because of something small, you're losing your job, you're losing your salary, then you have to spend 
maybe two five to five or to ten years in jail because of something small then you also have to compensate the lady still for her medical or what depending on the case she has filed so it doesn't make any sense guys but all in all they say if you don't plan then the world is going to teach you a lesson so whoever is watching out there please try to educate your kids try to educate your family members there is a consequence for everything that we do but uh, if you don't educate them or if you don't follow the laws then people will take charge against you the law will come after you so basically i thank you all and let's be critical i'll keep you updated on this story and we'll keep on following on many other stories such as this we have to stop violence in our society we have to be responsible citizens as well and we have to be careful in everything we actually do because it's not just about the violence it's about the small details you as a man or as a lady if you see someone being assaulted out there please take action stop don't let it get to us don't feel guilty afterwards because you could have done something to assist this person so let's all be responsible citizens thank you about in your ear the attention police will always be there for you please subscribe